Hi there, and welcome to 10.6 Consulting. Today we're going to take a look at managing dashboards in Primavera P6 EPPM. OK, when you log into P6 EPPM, it brings you to the Dashboards page. And the first time you log in, you'll have this linked text which says Manage Dashboards, which you can select and it will take you to the Manage Dashboards feature. Or you can select from the drop-down menu Manage Dashboards. And that brings you to the Manage Dashboards page. And then if you left-click on the twisty, you'll have the list of available dashboards. I'll go ahead and select the Personal Workspace dashboard and that brings it up to the top of the display. Now we want to make some changes to our Personal Workspace dashboard. So we select the text which links us to the content of Personal Workspace page. And here you will find three tabs. The first tab is the Content tab, where you can select the portlets that you want to display. You can customise portlets, and you can also select a portfolio of projects to display in those portlets. Then you have the Layout tab, where you can select the layout of how your portlets are displayed on the screen. And then finally, you have the Access tab where you can select the users that will have access to this dashboard. And our access is going to be for the current user. So back into the Content tab. For the dashboard title, we can add a unique title to it. I'm going to call this Steve's Workspace. And then we can select from the filter icon. We can select the Portfolio. And I'm going to select Construction Projects and Apply. OK, from the Project Performance portion of the page, you can select from a number of standardised portlets that you want to display for your dashboard. So we want to display Schedule Performance. Now notice, next to Schedule Performance, we have a triangle twisty. And if I click on that, it opens up. So I can see that I'm going to be displaying the date values and the forecast at completion values. I also want to select, for the purposes of the demonstration, the Project Statistics portlet, as well as the Project Health portlet and the Project Gantt portlet. Now you will notice for the Project Statistics portlet, we have a Customize option. So if I select Customize, up pops the Customize portlet feature. In the Budget category, I want to select Current Budget. And to bring it over, I select the arrow. And then I can highlight it and move it up in the list. So that is the current budget. And then also for percent complete, if I go to the percent complete category, I want to select units percent complete. And I bring that over. Now, another way to do this is using the search. I could type in planned labour units. And I can bring that over and move it down. And then I want to do a search for actual labour units. And if I double click on it, it automatically brings it over. Then I make sure to move it up. Then what I want is remaining labour units. With all of that selected, I hit the Save button. And then the next thing I want to do is go to the Layout tab. And I want my project statistics to be wide. And I also want the Project Gantt chart to move up. So I use the Move Up arrow to move it up. And I'd also like Project Health to be moved up as well. So that's everything selected. That's how the portlets will be laid out on the screen. And if I go to the Access tab, I want to select Access to be available by the current user. And then with all that selected, I go to the Content tab and select Save and Close. Then I select the Dashboards tab, and it displays my Steve's Workspace dashboards. And I can see my project's portlet, Communications Centre, My Calendar, Schedule Performance, Project Gantt Chart, Project Health, and then finally, 
Project Statistics Portlet. So that is how you manage dashboards in P6 EPPM. If you'd like to learn more about Primavera P6, then 10.6 offers some great online training courses. These courses are written by industry experts and offer you all the skills you need to get up and running as a P6 scheduler. For more information, visit our website at 10.6.com for full details on how to get started.